Good morning guys, you know what time it is. It is fishing time. Fishing, 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 fishing. We are Lake Skinner once again, and I'm gonna start trolling, see if uh, the trolling bite is there. If not, I'm gonna go a couple times, and and then we're gonna head straight out to the dam. Right now, the inlet is pretty thick on the, the, the grass, and they put that little blue stuff yesterday, so they're gonna kill the grass down a little bit. And so, the inlet might not be a good place to go. You might get snagged up on a lot of that grass stuff. So we'll try the inlet for a little bit, and if not, we'll go to the dam. So it's overcast right now. It is 6:15. Um, there's a fish that just jumped right there in front of us. And let me get set up for trolling and continue. All right, I just figured out that going about 18, 20 feet deep, you are definitely going to hit moss. Now, either this is a fish or I just picked up a lot of the grass. But I'm almost positive this is not a fish because I don't feel no wiggly. So we're going to reel it up, bring it in. Yeah, it feels like a lot of grass. That was a strike. That was a cheap strike. No, it's it's on top of the water. It's just grass. But yeah, we got we got a lot of grass growing, so we gotta go deeper when we're trolling. If we don't, we're gonna do this. So not that much. I mean we didn't hit that much. Look at this. See that? Yeah, that's grass. So we just gotta be careful where we're trolling. Try to avoid all that grass. Yeah. All right, I'm trolling a little bit higher. It's not that far back. My my rig is probably about eight to ten feet deep, and it's probably about a maybe a hundred feet behind me. So I'm going at a, about four miles an hour because 26 feet deep. So I'm going to lower a little bit. That way it gets a little deeper, but um, you want to stay in the range of like 3, 4 to 3, 8. Uh, they see it, they, they come out and smash it, you know, that's what you want. You don't want them to second guess it. Like uh, if it goes too slow, they're looking at it going, eh, that's fake. If it's too fast, they don't want to exert their energy, so uh, they, won't, they won't go after it. So you want to stay in the medium where it's attractive to them. That's my guess. We're seven. Oh, yeah, about, about three, three, uh, four, three, seven, three, eight. You don't want to go over. There's, there's a couple. There's a couple on the bottom. So I'm going to go a little deeper. I'm hanging around the bottom, and uh, I can see it on my fish bite. All right, guys, I'm going to give you an update really quick. It is uh, 6.30 in the morning. It's overcast, very smooth, uh, no wind. It is 63 degrees outside, so this is perfect weather. Uh, 78 is the water temperature, and that is the surface temperature. When you go down further, it might be a little cooler. So um, I'm only assuming that the, the fish are deep because they like the cooler water. They're not tucked in in the back unless they're uh, eating or feeding. So we're not going to go back there uh, into those uh, those little channels. We're going straight to the dam where it's cooler water. Hopefully we can find a school of striper and bait fishing. I'm trolling a little bit just in case. Uh, trolling is, a, is in. Just for a little bit. It doesn't hurt to do about 15 minutes of troll. Then we're gonna, we're gonna go bait fishing. All right. All right, I'm trolling pretty deep. It's 36 feet deep over here. I gotta go a little bit slower so my, my rig goes further down. 
Uh, so I'm dropping it at about three, three miles, 3.4, 3.2, just to bring it down some. But I know throughout this area it goes up and down, so you gotta just be careful so you don't hit the bottom. Once you hit the bottom, you hit grass, you know, fish are not gonna bite on a grassy fish. I don't know, that's not attractive to them. So let's keep trolling. Um, I like to park right in front of the inlet directly in front of it because I know that there's a channel that pushes because anytime there's water flowing like that is just it's gonna be deeper in that area so pretty much this is it right here um, from uh, 9 o'clock all the way to 3 o'clock that's where I'm gonna basically uh, fish one of the ways that I like to fish is just release the drag all the way so that way if you hear something bite you hear this or actually a little lighter than that like that so that's what you want to hear so if they get it and then run that's exactly what you're going to hear so you don't need to really watch your pole you're basically allowing them to swallow it and run And usually the first, I want to say 20 minutes, you try to figure out where the fish are. So you're just basically going five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, and you're just going, you're reeling up, checking your bait, seeing if your bait sticks, see if some something by chance ate it, um, seeing if your rod tip moves. Um, so there's a there's a lot of things in the first like 20, 30 minutes that you're fishing. There's a lot of things that, uh, see right now I'm just hitting the current. There's a current hit. So it's not a bite. Um, but that's a good sign. Got a nice little current flow. So that's a good thing. That means the bait is slowly going down and fish are looking at it. If there's any fish around, they're going, ooh, what's that? So, we'll see. All right. Hopefully we can catch a fish in the next couple minutes. If not, we'll move out to the to the dam where it's deeper, cooler, and probably a lot less snacks because I might end up pulling a lot of grass up here. So I'll let you know in a second. All right. My Veritas just started ringing we'll see if there's a fish on there i just heard the spool kind of untwist itself but um it didn't take off so we'll see maybe it was just a current but i'm keeping an eye on it all right the way I rig my stuff is I always go down to the end of my line and bite about two inches off to make it nice and fresh. I put a three-fourths egg weight on there. And then a swivel. There's the swivel right here. Lick the line, of course. You're just doing a clench knot. Make sure you wet the line. Okay. And then what I do is I have some more fishing line and then I cut off about a whole arm's length of line. Better more than less. 
then I tie it to my swivel And then about an arm length, yeah. And then I tie the hook. And the hook, you've got to get size eight hooks here. If you don't get size eight hooks, you're okay. So that's what you want right here. This is what you want right here. Okay, I'll just put a hook in there. That's what it looks like right there. That's what you want. See that? So there you have it from the hook all the way to the swivel and the egg weight. There it is. There's the setup, guys. Doesn't get any simpler than that. I'm getting bit. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. Is the fish on? Oh no. Really? Oh, was it on? All right, two things: either just dragging the bottom, or it got off, or snapped my line. Wow! Look at this, snapped my line. All right, we ended up moving and we're gonna stay here for about 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully we get a bite. This is the deepest part of the lake. It is uh, 74.3 feet deep, and hopefully we can get a bite out here. It is just absolutely beautiful out. I'm so thankful that there's overcast. I mean, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. That's just beautiful. So, anyhow, hopefully we can get a Get a fish on deck. I don't want to blank today. It's too nice to blank. Can you imagine first day having my blazer blanking? Come on. Come on now. Really? So, anyhow, we're going to keep fishing here. All right. I did not blank fish on. I don't know what I have, but it is small. That's okay. But I got fish on here, so we'll see what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a small catfish. Um, it's wiggling. That's a good sign. What did I tell you? Small catfish. Look at this thing. It's a small cat. There you have it, folks. My first fish on deck. Did not blink. So, put it back in the water. Here we go fish on here this is good this has turned out to be a good day there's a guy named carlos right there he's a master fisherman over here at lake skinner he turned me on to fish appreciate that carlos heck yeah 
<clears throat> Look at this puppy. This thing is ginormous. This thing is ate, ate, ate this thing ate a lot of a lot of steroids. Look at this fat thing. Jesus. Wow. Ah, oh, this is a good one pounder, Carlos. Oh yeah. 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 Beautiful. Look at that. Huh? Let's see if you guys can see this. Right there. Beauty. Beautiful. All right, guys. This is my second fish up here. Yes, sir. Another bluegill. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. This is Carlos day here. Ah, dang. Good one? Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yes, sir. All right. Sun's out. Overcast. And I am on again. Look at that. That's going to be great. Carlos better watch this video. He's got to watch it at home because he's in it. <laughs> That's another bluegill. Boy, it's bluegill city right here. It's a smaller one, though. Not as big. Oh, we're definitely having tacos tonight. All right, here we go. Another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. Look at this. It's coming up. Oh yeah, another bluegill. Man, bluegill, bluegill. Bluegill, hey, this is a bluegill day. Jimbo, Jimmy, what are you doing home? Jimmy, what are you doing home? Jimmy, what are you doing home? I sure did.
these things are just amazing. I think we're on a good spot. Oh, let go. Yep. It's all good. First one got away. Hey, this is Carlos right here. Say hi. You see yourself in there. There he is. So, yeah, go down and play around with the frogfish or something. Sounds good. All right. Almost, I almost had another one.
We had a good day fishing for these suckers right here. Look at this. I'm gonna let him go. I caught so many of these. I am letting this puppy go. This is a scapegoat. There he goes. Yeah. All right, guys, over here at the inlet, I had a wonderful time out here. I can easily catch more bluegill. I mean, it's just bluegill is hot right now. Um, after the overcast left, uh, sun came out and they were just biting one after the other, one after the other. So, um, and Carlos, thank you so much. He gave me two stripers that he caught. One was awesome. One was really, really nice size. Um, the other one was pretty decent. Um, but anyhow, I had a fabulous time out here fishing. If you want to come out here and fish, I'm telling you, number one thing you need to do, again, long lead, size eight, octopus hook, and uh, three fourth ounce uh, weight. So when it goes down, it drags the line down, and then slowly the, the, the chicken liver goes down with it so that's the way to do it if sometimes if you're if you cast sometimes you know if it doesn't work casting wait 20 minutes 30 minutes if it doesn't just go straight down once you hit the bottom straight straight down you know just pull up about five turns and then just let it hang sometimes that's what I've been doing catching the bluegill right here I'm just letting it hang and lo and behold it's just it's working it's I'm slamming them does it work all the time no does any of this method works all the time no that's why they call it fishing so come out here try that method if it does work give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget man see me on my next video and all i gotta say is this opa opa <laughs> legs can and fish in Woo! oh look 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 i got another one i got another one I got another bluegill. See, I'm telling you, man, it's nothing but bluegill city today. I'm telling you, it's nothing but bluegill city. I got another one. If he's if he's lip hook, I'm gonna I'm going to um, let him go as well. But if he's gut hooked, I think I'm gonna keep him. All right. Actually, it's a small one, so let's see if we can get them up, 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 up. Oh, that's a nice size. Look at that. I don't think that's small. Do you call that small? Fire just broke out behind me right here. I don't know if you can see that. 